Kimmel trashes Trump, host launches merciless attack on the president, tweets at him live on stage and leads standing ovation for overrated streep in the most political Oscars ever. The late night host predictably poked fun at Donald Trump during his Oscars opening monologue Sunday. Jimmy Kimmel said the Oscars were being watched in more than 225 countries that now hated the U.S. He called on the star-studded crowd to give a highly overrated Meryl Streep a standing ovation before joking about her dress, saying by the way, is that an Ivanka? Kimmel said Trump would later tweet about all of the Oscar winners' acceptance speeches in all caps. He then took to the president's favorite medium, Twitter, to write. Hey at real Donald Trump you up. Italian makeup artist Alessandro Bertolazzi dedicated his Oscar win to all the immigrants. Moonlight director Barry Jenkins said people who don't feel like they have support can look to the American Civil Liberties Union and artists over the next four years. Iranian director Asghar Farhadi, who won an Oscar for his film The Salesman, issued a statement saying he was not present out of respect for the people of my country who have been banned from entering the U.S. Oscars host Jimmy Kimmel took aim at President Donald Trump, trashing him throughout the night and even provoking him from the stage with two tweets. The late-night host first poked fun at Trump during his opening monologue saying the Academy Awards were being watching across the globe in more than 225 countries that now hate us. I want to say thank you to President Trump, remember last year when it seemed the Oscars were racist. Kimmel told the star-studded audience. That's gone, thanks to him. He then took to the president's favorite medium, Twitter, to write, Hey at real Donald Trump you up, and at real Donald Trump number morals a she. The Oscars got off to a predictably political start on Sunday night when host Jimmy Kimmel took several shots at President Donald Trump. Moonlight director Barry Jenkins said in accepting the Oscar for adapted screenplay that people who don't feel like they have support can look to the American Civil Liberties Union and artists over the next four years. Iranian director Asghar Farhadi won the Academy Award for Best Foreign Film for his drama The Salesman. The director had previously said he was not attending the Oscars in revolt against Trump's immigration ban. I'm sorry I'm not with you tonight. My absence is out of respect for the people of my country and the other six nations whom have been disrespected by the inhumane law that bans entry of immigrants to the U.S., he said in a statement. Mexican actor Gail Garcia Bernal, who presented the award for Best Animated Feature Film alongside Haley Steinfeld, said, I'm against any form of wall that wants to separate us. Warren Beatty presented the Oscar for Best Picture alongside Faye Dunaway, former CO star of the 1967 classic Bonnie and Clyde. Our goal in politics is the same in our goal in art, and that's to get to the truth, Beatty said on stage. Makeup artist Alessandro Bertolazzi was the first Oscar winner to mention politics in his acceptance speech. The Italian dedicated his win in the makeup and hairstyling category to all the immigrants. Rich Moore, CEO director of Zootopia, which won Best Animated Feature Film, said, We are so grateful to audiences to audiences all over the world who embraced this film with this story of tolerance being more powerful than fear of the other. Kimmel called on the crowd to give an highly overrated Meryl Streep a standing ovation for her 20 Oscar nominations throughout her career. The late-night host poked fun at Trump during his opening monologue saying the Academy Awards were being watching across the globe in more than 225 countries that now hate us. Kimmel made fun of Trump's anti-immigrant rhetoric as he introduced French actress Isabelle Huppert, pictured, 
joking I'm glad Homeland Security let you in tonight. Curly Kloss and actress Ruth Nega were among the several stars to wear a blue ribbon in support of the American Civil Liberties Union. Italian makeup artist Alessandro Bertolazzi, center, was the first Oscar winner to mention politics in his acceptance speech as he dedicated his win to all the immigrants. Iranian director Asghar Farhadi took home the Academy Award for Best Foreign Film for his drama The Salesman. He was not present out of respect for the people of my country who have been banned from entering the U.S. Mexican actor Gail Garcia Bernal, pictured with Haley Steinfeld, was presenting an award when he made it clear he was against Donald Trump building a wall on the Mexican U.S. border. If she get on top and turn around, I'm busting. If she do that thing with the mouth, I'm busting.